All right, so I'm still just working on my character assets, but now I'm filling in a gap because if I take the head away and I move it, now I have this asset which allows me to move the head down and still have some shell showing. So it allows me some range there. And that's about as far down as I would ever need to move the head. See, just like that. So what do I need to do? I need to combine this new part with my original character only where it's necessary, which is only where the ears overlap. And then that will give me that flexibility, right? So I have that much overlap range now. I'm going to combine that with the body. And I've got to take the head off of this creature. So what do I do? I go to my head layer. I select it. Actually, I can, I can make more of an overlap. But I'm basically going to take all of this out at the neck, take the head off, Oop. but I need the part I just combined in, which is right here. All right, so take all of that, I can fine tune with an eraser. I can dodge and burn. Help that read a little bit. Oh, that's why I've got this hovering above it. All right. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that desaturation layer. Don't want that for my animation. It's making everything hard to see. All right. So now I've got that. I've got the head. Now everything's super bright, right? <laughs> but it allows me to do things like transform the head make a duplicate and tilt the head down into the water without losing the shell underneath. <coughs> okay. Simple enough. What is next? Go to my storyboard. So first I have to establish the setting, action of drinking, action of swallowing. So in swallowing, his head is probably going to tilt up. So I'll make another copy of this head group. But this time, I will tilt it up in the air. And this might require a little bit of distortion. just to work with the perspective of the ears. So I'm going to call this one head, head up. This one is head down. And this one's just head, head normal.
Okay, so I've got all my character assets now. Um, except at least for the first three frames. That's all my character needs to do. I'll have to build more character assets when I get to the middle section as he starts to swell and change colors. But I'm good right now. Got them all. <coughs> now what's next? I need... Here, let me turn off eyes closing and turn off the opening of the mouth. Okay, so now what I need is the setting. Am I going to animate anything in the setting? And I think I want to animate the sun a little bit. So this is for those of you who are, are working on a different setting. So what's nice is I already have the sun on its own layer here. So I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to give it a different color. Let's make it blue. So this is my sky. And I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to move the sun up a little bit, just with the Move tool. I can use my arrows to adjust it slightly. Then I'm going to duplicate it again. Move it up into the side a little bit more. Duplicate it again. Move it up into the side a little bit more. Duplicate it again. Move it up into the side a little bit more. Duplicate it again. <laughs> Move it up into the side a little bit more using the arrow keys. Duplicate it again. Up into the side a little bit more. All right, so that's basically the cycle. I'll, I'll keep doing it. I want the sun to be setting throughout my animation. And then when it gets below the horizon, I can kind of change the colors of the scene in other ways. So these are all of my sun assets. <coughs> but what I'm going to do to each one now is I'm going to blur them a little bit, just so the light's a little bit more diverse or dispersed, because I don't want those clouds to look so, so ordinary. And that will get rid of these little um, copy-paste glitches and distortions if I blur each of them out a little bit. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to do um, Shift-Command-F to automatically do the last filter on each layer. So each of these. Why is it not doing it? There it is. It's just a little slow. Shift Command F. Huh. Shortcut's not working for me, but I'll just do it by hand. Each one as I go down. So this is building a setting asset. Now you might want to have clouds moving. That's really easy to do, but something like planets moving or stars moving, or a comet shooting across the sky, that has to be done in a pretty regular way. So that's why I just used my arrow keys and moved it a little bit each time. And then I'm going to blur the original sun a little bit, but maybe not quite so much. Because as it gets close to the horizon, maybe it gets sharper. So 
about like that. And now I'm going to duplicate it and move that underneath. And start sinking it down. Oh, what I need is... See what's the best way to do it. Yeah, no, that will work. So what I'm going to do is kick a cutout of it, and then really soften the edges of that cutout. Right, like so. Take the hard edges away. Do a low opacity, kind of blend it in. And this will allow me now to move it lower. So I know I need to get to here. So what I'll do first is move <coughs> it down as far as I'm willing to go. So about here, you know, below the horizon. Okay, then duplicate it and move it up until I get to the original position. And the sun starts to so that's the original position. It starts to sink faster once it gets to the, the bottom. So I can move a little bit faster here than I did up top. Now animators, professional animators spend a lot of time looking at how things move and work. And here we're just farting around and playing. <laughs> so for GIF animations, it's enough if it looks cool. But I'm pretty sure that there's nowhere in the world that the sun sets at an angle. But I think it will look cool. I think I'm almost to the original place. And then, yeah, and it goes down from there. All right, so this is the, the sunset. And this cycle is huge. So many different layers, because it's not going to repeat on itself. So I'm going to move that all into a group. I'm going to call it the sun group, or the sun setting. And what's its default placement <coughs> in the very first frame? It's the very top layer of that group. The sun's up, up in the sky, right there. And we can add other other stuff as we need it. I'm going to erase some of these layers that I don't need, that aren't visible. And I'm going to combine some of these background layers, because I've decided what assets I'm going to, to add and manipulate. I'm going to keep my smart object of my character just in case. I can merge all of these together. Nope, <laughs> that's the overlay. But I can put them all in a group and just not have to scroll through them and worry about them. 